the next thing that we have to configure is get transaction data state here if we can see there are two things that we have to change over here at least right now if i just go here so i have to change the data type of transaction item to data row as we already know when we are dealing with excels so we have to do it with data row okay that is done fine so now here you will be encountering some issues because this is no longer a queue item just go inside this and open the workflow try to change the type of this change this to data row okay and come back to this and just open this and try to resupply that particular variable its transaction item and then save fine now there is an error over here let's go back to this and cut this and then paste this it should be gone okay now because we already know in excel we have five transactions available we have to pass each transaction from here the first transaction should be sent to here and that should upload that particular thing to the orchestrator and then again it should go to the second push that to queue then again third then push that to queue and so on for that to happen let's go back to here and right here because this is a dispatcher we don't need it right here so delete it save it and here just take i o oh, transaction data the transaction number that we have should be less than r equal to i o dot rows dot count okay this you should be able to understand because we have done already few things where excel was our input right just try to delete all these things these are not needed to us is drag and assign activity here out transaction item is nothing but io so in what uh, we are trying to tell the robot is in this particular data table take one particular row and that will be in transaction number minus one so the first time the transaction number is one as we know it is being initialized over here as one which will be sent to this through arguments as you can see it is in type so from here this is one first time and the next time it is back so there is one this time it will just do something with that particular row information and then it will return this time it will pick second it will do some operations over here then it will try to pick the third so this particular thing is also configured for us okay though there is some error over here we will be trying to handle that when we go to process transaction state so for now this is done for us we get transaction data state 